Welcome to the suburbs with Andy and Greg. When you're giving gifts, are you are you a a, a serious shopper giver of gifts or here's money for christmas or gifts use gifts. i don't think you're gonna give money to it's this <laughs> Here. here's twenty dollars jennifer get yourself something nice <laughs> don't spend it all in one place that's why you live in the garage <laughs> i always thought that that was like you know you're just your place but uh, it's, it's the twenty dollar <laughs> gift certificate to the gas and sip i've where you know those the gift cards you know are one of those things that uh they just make it seemingly easy for everybody but yeah. but they're weak yeah they are we uh yeah. i mean i think we have sort of relegated gift cards to nieces and nephews because it's because just, they're weak no it's just it's <laughs> this like, is how much i love you i love you for two seconds of thought on which gift card do we get you and plus the stamp, yeah, to well, send it. There's oh, that too, but right. But rest no of card, the, rest of the no f- card at all. Just just a gift card and an envelope. They but, go, hey, oh, it's from Uncle Andy. <laughs> just a gift Freaking card, not gift even card, a, <laughs> not even a card in this. <laughs> well, it'd be be even better if it was like an Easter card, just some random or a card that you had already given to somebody and everything scratched out and then you write love uncle andy but uh rest of the family real gifts real gifts real gifts yeah so you put some time in time to yeah, the, yeah correct okay yes. that's nice yeah I, I i you know it is it is kind of a um an, an important day for christians and uh this this guy kind of you know was brought to them by god if you are believing in that kind of thing and I don't think God would have given a gift card instead of him, right? <laughs> so not to get all churchy. but And so the whole gift card thing has always bugged me, and, and or checks. You know, I mean, I get it if you don't really know the person, maybe. Or like with our kids, our kids have just gotten married, and they've got designs on something that they want for the house. And so they can pool their resources if we give them that toward the thing they want for the house. Sure. Right. My son-in-law was going to turn 40 this year, and we asked Heather what he wanted for his birthday. He said he needs to buy some lumber for his flower beds. Nice. And I'm like, Jeffrey's like, I'm not giving him wood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we put a little more thought into it than just lumber. <laughs> yeah, right. For the big 4-0. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, hey, your, your present's delivering. <laughs> boop, boop. We had a, we had an, an interesting dynamic at our house because my parents have been divorced since I was in the seventh grade, and um, they've kind of rekindled a friendship since uh, since Grace graduated. So over the course of the last five or six years, they've become kind of pen pals, and uh, and and my mom, I go, uh, you guys are friends with benefits, aren't you? No. What is that? <laughs> well, then why'd you say no if you didn't know what it is? Google it. She goes, I don't know. Yeah, Google it. Yeah, she'd be all over that. What is this thing? She can't even do the remote anymore, but she can Google. She can do a Google search. Siri, look up friends with benefits. Oh, Greg. Greg. <laughs> she, used to, she used to say, and I can't. I mean, this is an audio, so I, you can't really see it, but she'd go when she, I, I knew I pushed the button when she'd go, I mean, no. And her head is shaking. Her jaw is clenched. You can veins. see the veins popping out. Oh, yeah. I knew I had scored. <laughs> so you pushed her to the limit. I did the button that <laughs> I was trying to push. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so anyway, we have both parents over uh, for Christmas. And, um, and so they're actually sitting next to each other for the dinner. And <clears throat> I thought that'd be nice. They can, they can talk and talk amongst themselves and, you know, talk about what, 
what went on in, in their life when they were you know married and, and acting like they loved each other for that period of time. And so um, on, when I'm driving her back home, I said, did you have a nice visit with dad at, at dinner? And she goes, um, yeah, well, yeah, it was okay. I mean, we talked a little bit. We were listening to what you guys were talking about more than anything, though. And I go, oh, really? So did you did you give him a, a card or something for Christmas? And she said, yeah, I did. And he gave he gave me a card. And I go, oh, did he really? And she said, yeah. And it had uh, $50 in it. I go, what? <laughs> <laughs> He gave you fifty dollars for Christmas, and she goes, "Yeah." And I go, "That is weird." <laughs> she yeah. goes, "Beyond weak, weird." <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it, it's it's shit. It's both. What do you? I go. What? I mean, I was I was stammering. I was I was struggling for words with fifty dollars. I mean, what? I, I go, do, Mom. Does fifty dollars mean anything to you? And she goes, "Well, I, I don't, I don't know why." And I go, "Well, I mean, what if, what if he gave you a heartfelt note in that card about the time that you spent together, the three kids that you had, and and something like that? Would that have more value than the fifty dollars?" And she goes, "Well, yeah." And I said, "Well, good." And she goes, "I gave him thirty-five." <laughs> <laughs> You're weird too. What are you talking about? You gave him thirty five. She goes, Well, yeah. I mean, not not when, in cash. You... I wrote him a check. <laughs> Ouch. Wonder how she came up with the number of thirty five. Thirty five. Where, where did that come I, from? I. Where did that come from? Yeah. I don't even know. I mean, I'm I'm thinking back on it, and they got married. I mean, their marriage lasted twelve years. So oh. there's no like math that works for that. I'm going to give him twelve dollars. <laughs> yeah, that would have been better. Yeah, um, and so, <clears throat> and I have known that I was an accident child for a couple of years, not very long, and and that was a weird way of finding out too. I mean, normally people know that maybe they were a surprise baby or mm -hmm. or not, you right. know. And so we're at uh, Keely and I are. At, at dinner celebrating my birthday and she said i think it's so funny that that the reason your parents got married was because of you and it was just like spit take <laughs> at dinner i go what <laughs> and she goes yeah i mean that your parents just don't seem the type that <laughs> that would happen and i go i i i, I how, how do you know this and she goes she looks at me with this just this look of like what are you stupid and she goes, well, how do you not know this? And I go, uh, nobody ever told me. And she goes, didn't you do the math? And I go, the math for what? And she said, their anniversary. And I said, I don't know when they got married. <laughs> they got they divorced. They kept that from you. They did. So you can do the math. Yes, I think, maybe. <laughs> there yeah, you go. they had a faux anniversary party. <laughs> so I'm, um, yeah, I go, I don't, I don't know. When did they get married? And she said, in June. And so then I, oh, well, yeah. There you go. Okay. So I was an accident. And so I had kept that to myself for years. and um, Internalized that. Well, I did. Yes, I did. I think, actually, I think I probably already knew it, and that's part of what my problem is today. <laughs> that, mm -hmm. and I should have been left-handed, but I'm, I'm right-handed, so I've got an internal conflict. <laughs> with that but um so anyway so i wanted to and I, and I had found out that keely was an accident my wife um back on our first date and she didn't know it but i looked at her sisters and i said <laughs> and this is by the way this is something if you're listening to this don't do this on the first date. This is not a good idea. This is, this is bad advice <laughs> for first dates. I looked at this. Get pen shit. and paper out. Right. Yeah. There are two pictures in five by seven frames of these women. And I'm looking at them and I go, who are they? And <laughs> Keely says, she has me over for dinner on our, actually, it was, I guess it was our, our second date. And first one was uh, after a show, comedy show. So I said, who are they? And, and she said, they're my sisters. And I said, what are you, a product of the milkman or something? <laughs> right, like, right after high. I mean, I don't, I don't even... <laughs> I don't even...
don't even get like into the warm conversations, you know, not feeling a good vibe from the third date, maybe <laughs> before I insult her entire family. I just said, are you the product of the milkman? <laughs> nice. And, yeah. Well, thank you. You know, I practiced. I, I took those classes on, you know, how to balance plates on your head and walk. What are those called? In poor etiquette. Etiquette. <laughs> etiquette classes. Right. Yeah, I flunked that class. I skipped. We went to the track. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I um, <clears throat> I did. I said, I said that. And she said, you know, people have teased me about that my whole life. I said, you got to be kidding. Well, they, you look nothing like them. So it's obvious to me. So then fast forward, and her mom uh, comes to our house. She's dying of pancreatic cancer, and we're going to we're gonna ease her into the afterlife. And and she drives there, so she's well enough to be a functional adult, not in the bed yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all go out for dinner, and I tell Keely, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask your mom if your dad is really your dad. No, you're not. I said, I am going to. I'm going to find this out before she dies. I'm going to Today's ask. the day. That's right. Today's Clock the day. Clock is ticking. You've got to find out or I will. I'm going to ask if you don't. No, we're not going to do this. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do this now. We'll be doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it now. <laughs> so, I, uh, so we go to this um, Italian restaurant and uh, and the whole family is there and and I say, you know, isn't it interesting that some people don't look like their family members? <laughs> and she's like kicking me under the table. And I said, for instance, my sister's blonde and there's nobody that's blonde in our family. And so kick, kick, kick. I'm, I'm still, ow, <laughs> hey. And so, you know, I don't do anything and we talk about other things. So fast forward to uh, her mom's in the dying phase and she says, is there anything that you want to ask me? And uh, and Keeley said, I've always wondered if dad was really my dad. And she said, uh, he's not. Uh, I had an affair with the milkman. Really? No, it wasn't really the milkman. It was a fireman. <laughs> she, had, she had a fling with the fireman. So I was kind of right. And it was a public service guy who was on fire, apparently. Oh, my. The fireman was on fire. So the truth comes out. The truth comes out. I I wanted to tell my mom that I knew that she was getting frisky, and I I came along as a result. You know, but how do you break that to your parents that you know that? I wouldn't, but you probably did. <laughs> you were gonna. You would what? More class? No. What? T too afraid of your parents? Mm, just uh, just too awkward. Yeah, too awkward for me. Is it? Yeah, it would be, yeah. What would you say? Like, how would you bring it up? I wouldn't. <laughs> That's right. You said that already. <laughs> but I want to know. Curious minds. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> We've had the Christmas meal and everything. And, and uh, fast forward a day, and I'm driving back to mom's house. And the dementia is in, like, full-blown mode. And she can't string a sentence together. And I think, okay, this is going to be a long two and a half hour drive to her house. And all of a sudden she has this moment of clarity. And I think I'm going to seize the moment and I'm going to ask. Now or never. Now or never. Inquiring minds want to know. And I said, hey, you know, I've always wondered something. And she said, oh, what's that? I, I, I never knew when your anniversary was because you guys got married and you know, I, obviously, I don't. I don't think I was there for that, but um, I don't remember you ever celebrating your anniversary. And, and she said, "No, your father never wanted to go out very much." And I said, "Okay, so when was your anniversary?" And she said, "Oh, well, let's see. It was in June. It was at the end of June." I said, oh, okay, end of June, so like 25th. And she goes, no, 28th. I go, okay, the 28th, so let's see. So I'm driving, and I hold up my, I'm steering with the left hand, I hold up my right hand, and I go, July 28th, August 28th, September, and I got to September 28th, and she looks at me and she goes, is there gonna be a question involved in this? <laughs> no, <laughs> you just answered it. <laughs> Well, if I'm Andy, no, there would not no. be a question. No. He wants to avoid the awkward 
conversation. But Greg, of course, pushing the envelope. Dive right in. I did dive right in, and I said, um, I go, I, I do have a question. It's math-related. And she goes, okay. And I said, I, I'm doing the math, and it's not adding up. And she goes, adding up to what? And I said, nine months. July, I mean, to July is one month. So from June 28th to December 31st, there, there's not nine months in there. And she goes, no, there's not. And I said, hmm, so were you engaged when you got pregnant? And she goes, well, we were talking about it. <laughs> and I go, which means no. I mean, do you know how many guys promise yeah. something like that just to unzip the goods? I don't even want to think about it. I can't believe I'm even saying that about my mom right now, goods. But, uh, but I did say that. I said, guys, guys are going to make that promise. And nothing ever happened. How many people talk about getting married and don't? Or, or at the moment. <laughs> yeah, in the moment. Like, yeah, oh, man. By the way. <laughs> Sun in the moon for you. Pants off, please. <laughs> Let me see the moon. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, right. yeah, sun in the moon. And speaking of the moon, how about that? Yeah, how about that moon? How about that moon? <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, she said, she said no. And, uh, and I said, okay, I guess I know. So, you know, I was just curious. I'm not going to hold it against you. Although, you know, come the next family gathering. Everyone's going to know. We're going to toast. <laughs> yeah. We're going to toast that. Here's the mom who got jiggy with it. Out of wedlock. There you go. I'm talking about your mom and dad and uh, the timeline of 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 their their wedding and your birth not quite lining up with the um, the, the normal <laughs> nine month uh, gestation period as you like to call it, um, not an elephant. No, certainly no, not no, two years. No, 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 no. <laughs> and uh, my my grandparents uh, were students at the University of Illinois, and uh, in 1926 when okay. they were still students, they were secretly married because you couldn't be married as students on campus. Was it like by a friend? I don't know if it by a friend or not. Probably a justice of the peace, I'm gonna guess. I mean, so a real, a real wedding? A real wedding, marriage certificate, married. Got it. And lived separately, separate dorms. Um, Sounds perfect. Yeah, but then two years later after they graduated, or after my grandmother graduated, um, they With, were married properly. Okay, so she graduated, do you know what degree? Home economics. That's a four year degree? <laughs> Apparently. I mean, that's just kind of a crash course these days. It's a class. Is it still? Yeah, it, even? It, it, no. Nowadays, no. Uh -uh. It would probably be politically incorrect. To have to home even, ec? Or even teach it or even bring it up. Yeah. But I, <laughs> a four-year degree. How do you even... I mean, that's... So I, when, so I was in high school in the 70s, and we had to take a time away from shop class to do home ec for like, two weeks or something yeah, we did too in high school yeah we had we did too i don't and, know if it was time away from shop class but it was a class yeah no yeah. but ours this was just like uh, i, I a, think they were going through an, an equality phase an intensive <laughs> a two yes week intensive. it was a two-week intensive on sewing <laughs> making a hat with sewing so here i am with a tremor trying to navigate a needle going up and down with thread while I'm feeding this brim of a hat through the sewing machine. Not good. Again, you know, the tremor comes into play. I get poorly graded because of my sloppiness on, I can't, I mean, try and use scissors, like <laughs> wrapping, you know, my gifts at Christmas are ridiculous. It's, 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 I'm the guy that like built a model missing pieces. Well, <laughs> Okay, so wrapping gifts is like that. To try and do tape and cut a straight line with a tremor. It just doesn't work. And so I try to, to wrap a good present, <laughs> but it just looks like a five-year-old. A five-year-old could be better than me at wrapping gifts. You should use gift bags. I should do gift bags. I mean, yeah. <laughs> is that part? That's like one week of home ec. Yeah. How to pack a gift bag with the proper tissue paper, the right coordinated colors, and then a note that you can actually read because mine are illegible. <laughs> yes. Well, Greg, that's terrible. 
The grade? What's wrong the... with you? <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so back to home ec. I mean, is there like this? I want to know. I want to. So four years of this is is it divided into cooking and cleaning and sewing and so they all make their dresses they all come to school in a uniform i mean do the math this is a hundred years ago it is i mean nearly i mean it's it's a dad sewing machines well i understand but i mean it's just i mean the 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 world was very very different a hundred years ago no i know and i'm not critical of the degree i I I want to know how what were they studying for four years seasoning a roast is like Uh, Four a semester, years of a semester. Yeah. <laughs> seasoning, seasoning a roast, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> the proper way to vacuum. Yeah, yeah. Dusting, dusting one hundred and one. <laughs> so, how does it, what's the next? What's the next? Okay, you pass dusting one hundred and one. Then what? Ceiling fans. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Venetian blinds. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's, that's the 300 series level. Class. Oh, is that with a feather duster? Probably. Okay. And, and high heels. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm picturing that with yeah. a... Uh, apron. An apron. Yeah. Mm. And back then, they had the uh, the stockings with the line up the back. Yep. Oh. Now we're getting into trouble. That's... Yeah, that is trouble. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, final... <laughs> you pass <laughs> that line up your stockings is not straight oh yeah B. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yes so close and that's you know why that is that's because uh your grandmother had gotten together with your grandfather for the weekend and so she was a little bit disheveled no doubt and finals were on monday <laughs> Straighten up and fly right. You That's got, right. I got I got finals tomorrow. <laughs> your bow is crooked on the back of your apron. Uh, but yeah, a minus a a four year degree. Yeah, that's uh when you try to break it down, you got to figure okay, what's that all about? I yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah, because I I mean really in four years I, and and I'm sure they took it seriously. Like she was she wanted an A. She was studying hard for this home ec degree, degree sure. with a diploma on sure. the wall and. And so, it, what were they taking? Because I, I mean, really, I, I'm sure the cooking was part of cooking. It. Sauce? Could you get a doctorate? Or do they know. stop at four years? <laughs> doctorate in home ec with, with what would you be your intensive? I guess salt, salt, <laughs> <laughs> salting. Hi, this is Andy. If you enjoyed listening to our podcast, please be sure to like and subscribe. Remember, laughter is contagious. Help us spread it by telling a friend.